woke up, but I uploaded that reshit last night, so I'm here to try and show you guys the tutorial to get it done quick. My voice is very croaky because I literally just woke up. So let's get this over with quick so you can get to making your custom outfits. And I can get back to sleep. <laughs> Alright, so I've added in a bunch of colorable outfits into the game. But these I did on purpose so you guys could have the textures to apply to your own pretty simply without having to create them like I did. So what you do is you go to the male colorable outfits or the female, whatever one, it doesn't really matter. And then you bring up this. Say I take the bus from this EMB pack. Alright, now I say I open up the bus file now. You use libsuniverse by the way libs universe and get this bin this is how you open up any mod emb pack all right so here we go data and data 002 now first i'm going to go to my game as well and i'm going to get uh, say a default texture of one of the outfits so universe cbk data and then go to data again character then let's look for hum all right you won't need to do this because you'll have your custom outfit already downloaded or whatever from the internet so i'm just going to take a simple one like this so let's open up a new place to put that fighter z no yeah that's from a different thing so in skills new transformation da, 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 da. all right so let's go into here let's we'll drag it in here so, copy, this is going to be your basic textures, the default textures are in game, so I'm going to open up this A and B pack, and boom, there we go. So then I'm going to drag this into GIMP. You will need DDS plugins for GIMP, but you can Google just how to do that, just type in GIMP DDS NVIDIA plugins. It should work. So let's zoom in here using GIMP. And as you can see, these are default textures. What you want to do is see mine doesn't match this. It's got two gray bars and then the skin bar. But this is pretty simple. So I'm going to drag it in here. Take this square tool up in the top left. I'm going to select it and I'm going to select two of the things right see let's just uh, adjust that perfectly now i've selected two of those you can do this one by one as well so you hit Control c copy and then i'm going to hit Control z or z and then i'm going to reverse back to this and once i've done that i'm going to hit Control v as for copy and paste more or less see then i move this into place just like that. Double click to make sure it's unhighlighted. Then you go to File, Export. So it should already bring you up into the folder where you're doing it if you did it my way. So there's the DDS00. I'm going to select DD, DDS image, Export. Yes. Compression, you want BC3 forward slash DXT5. Then OK. Is that a note? There it is. There. Right, so now as you can see, data 00 has a new texture. All you want to simply do is delete data 0002, copy and paste data 00, rename it, and then press 2. And done. And that is how you prepare custom outfits. Just got to add each bar in with that way. Pretty much simple. Now, if you have a outfit like... Uh, you want to reshade a colored outfit that's not colorable, but it's already got like set colors. Like, uh, let's say if I was to open up this future Gohan one, a custom outfit I made and then retextured. See, it's pretty simple, the same process, but all you have to do is look up for, up for a character from in game that has those colors with the same method using the EMB pack over here. And then all you have to do is drag each color into place the right way. You do that there, 
and your character's new outfit. Also, but when you're doing that, remember to take the skin tone from any custom outfit. You need to remember to take your character's skin from the custom hum folder. Oh, you use that skin color right there, that second one. But bring it in with any other outfit and you can use it. And that's pretty much all there is to it, to making your character's outfit colorable. And yes, you can also apply this to her when you do in the Super Saiyan files, take the Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan Rose from Goku or Goku Black, and then you drag them over to the Super Saiyan and this is what you get. So thanks for watching, folks. Enjoy making your own versions of the Fire Z Reshade mod and enjoy. Bye.